everybody, Brandon from the SAS the Snack Food Appreciation Society here along with cameraman Alex What's going? for another edition of Snack Briefs. Today, furnished by Terminator Tony T, we have the Ritz Cracker Fulls. This is the chili and cheese, crunching chili and That's cheese good. version. Uh, come to us from the Mondelez International Corporation, which I think is what Kraft is known as now, or maybe it's another company, I forget. No, Nabisco? What? This guy sounds about right. Yeah, one, one of them are known as, uh, as, as Mondelez now, I forget. But anyway, um, it comes in a red package. Uh, if you follow the SAS on Facebook, you know of my crippling addiction to Ritz crackers. Um, I have a real problem. Uh, He's scared of the, both those bacon ones. Yeah, I am very scared of the bacon ones. I cannot get those. That will be a, an issue. And it's like I said, I, I hadn't had them in years. But somebody gave me one the other day, man, it was a sample. That was it. That opened it, man. That was the gateway. I'm back on, on, the, off the wagon. Off the wagon. I'm off the wagon. He's on the Ritz. I'm on the Ritz. All right. It's an expensive place to stay. So I think that was Edward that got these from his uh, hookup up in Canada, Munchies, um, and he uh, liked these from what I can remember, and I expressed my interest in trying these. So Terminator Tony T, even though I fired him for hitting me in the head with a scoop shovel. He got us these treats to try out here on Snack Briefs today. They do have a very chili-esque smell. Oh yeah, wow, that's really strong actually. They must have straight up chili powder in there. Uh, so God, there's 845 freaking yeah, ingredients. Yeah, there's a lot of ingredients because there's going to be Woo! ingredients for the cracker and there's also ingredients for the filling. Um, paprika. Yeah, the paprika, I'm guessing, is what's providing that smell. Natural smoke flavor, garlic powder, tomato powder, chili pepper powder, ancho chili pepper powder. Fancy. Yeah, we've got all kinds of things going on here. Uh, it doesn't look like a traditional red. It's darker. No, and they're not the traditional shape. They're not circular. They're, you know, sort of rounded. Uh, I don't know what shape you'd call that. I want that chili that's in the bowl in the front. Alright, let's just check them out. Yeah. Wow. Dry as the desert. Mm. I don't know. I thought I would like them more. They're kind of weird up front. Yeah, it's not the traditional. Um, Homemade chili. It's more of that prepared chili. Yeah, and flavor. It's, it's this cream is kind of gritty. It's not creamy and like smooth. That's like got the um, stone ground corn type mouthfeel where it's very gritty. And... Yeah, I'm getting a little heat. I like that. Yeah. Um, and I do like the flavor as I chew it up and it kind of comes together. It's just that first bite is kind of hot tasting. Um, let me try one more time and see if I can formulate a real. I like it better now. Mm. Well, I like the uh, subtle and surprising amount of heat. I like the flavor overall. They're just kind of weird textural, texturally, I think is what it is. That threw me off at first, but now I can handle it. I've adjusted, man. Yeah. I'm okay. I mean, it's almost like you added the um, the cornbread in there. Yeah. And it gives you all that that gritty That's sort good, of taste. Good point. Flavor. Good point. I actually like them better than I thought I did at first, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a three-quarters thumbs up. I go two-thirds. Um, I really like them, but at the same time, I really, I'm not a huge fan of prepared chili. I really like homemade chilies, and this really reminds me of like that Hormel's chili that you'll get. <laughs> Hormel, of course, is short for horrible meal. So, uh, so anyway, uh, check out Cracker Pools if you get a chance. They got all kind of flavors, like a peanut butter one. I'm sure they got some kind of chocolatey one. Didn't you say that? Yes, yeah, dessert Cracker Pools. Yes. Yeah. Peanut butter and chocolate. Peanut butter and chocolate. So anyway, um, check these out if you get a shot. They're not too bad. Also, uh, check out the SAS uh, Facebook group because we are the coolest group in town. Just join us by clicking on the link down below. Getting not too far away from 300 members now and. Uh, you know, we really want to push to that goal. That's our next short-term goal. And also, uh, follow us on Twitter at BrandonRickSAS, at a brick in the SAS, 
And at, uh, Count Duck is a 21. That's a Dr. Jeff Smith. He's over there. Hashtag Specs Society. Absolutely. And uh, subscribe, like, favorite, share, all those good things that you're supposed to do on YouTube. Be a good community member. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Roman Reigns. <laughs>